Listen, my love, I am sick and tired of you, okay? You can't come to me constantly complaining about how you're not able to change your life, you're not able to live that dream life of yours, you're not able to change your reality, whatever, but then at the same time, you're constantly helping other people to achieve their dreams, you're constantly helping other people to like change their reality, but when it comes to you, it's hard. That is just plain embarrassing, and you do not behave like that, okay? Especially as my friend. Like, you guys are my friends, and you guys are behaving like this? I'm embarrassed. I am embarrassed. Please, please. And in this video, I will show you how you can change your reality, what you need to do in order to change that reality, to shift it, and to actually do something with your life. Enough, blah, 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 blah. please, I cannot do it. This, I'm unlucky. No, you're lazy. Gotta have the discipline, yeah? And don't be like, oh no, it's only lucky people, lucky, whatever. Honey, I was not lucky. I was not born lucky. I was born poor, very poor, yeah? And I completely changed my reality. Why? Because I had the discipline, the belief to do it. And I, I don't want to be at the top on my own because it's lonely at the top. I need you guys there with me so together we can evolve. This channel is for you. So together, we're gonna go to the next level and you are gonna take notes and you're gonna listen. Hi guys, my name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, listen. People are building spaceships. People are becoming billionaires. People are becoming multi-millionaires. People are having like a good income, normal job. People are literally making money off of the dumbest things. People having the best relationships. And you, you can't even fix your little simple life. You think, you think that is not like, you cannot do that. So all these people, they can do the most extraordinary, crazy things, but you can't fix your simple life. Yeah. You can't even find a normal job. Yeah. You can't even find a person that texts you back or that actually like appreciates and loves you. Oh, okay. Well, that's embarrassing. I need you first to start realizing the world is huge. The universe is huge. God is big. He did not put you on this earth so you could not do anything with your life. That is not your purpose, honey. You can do much, much more, but you have to start believing that you actually can. And then look at people for inspiration. Look at other people. Don't be jealous of them. Look at them for inspiration and thinking of yourself like, wow, this guy, he can build spaceships. Hmm, maybe, you know. I can just find like a normal job that I love. Maybe I can follow my passion. Maybe I can like find the partner that I want and build the family that I want. Maybe I can have a stable foundation. Once you are inspired by these people, you will realize that, oh my God, like, you know what? People can do big things so I can fix my simple life. We're minuscule. We're so like pathetic. You know, even when you ask God, you have to ask God for the biggest thing. Because honestly, sometimes I ask God for things. I think God is even embarrassed. You're like, really, Liz? You think that small? Then the second thing, after you have realized that you can ask for a lot of things, then what you do, you need to answer questions for yourself. Okay, we need to get really specific on what reality do we want to create. For example, right? I came from a very poor uh, childhood. And basically, for me, ever since I was a child, my one important thing was I need to be stable. The partner that is with me also needs to be financially stable. I want to make a lot of money. I want him to make enough money. I don't care about it, like millions of millions, but just good enough. And then um, I need to have a stable uh, household and a stable uh, childhood for my children. That was my focus. And I was like, that's the kind of reality I want. I want to have a, a, a passionate uh, job that I'm passionate about. I want to make money. I want to be able to support my family. I want to look really good. I want to love myself. I want to heal myself from the inside out. I want to go to therapy. That's the kind of reality I want to be in. That's the kind of woman I want to be. Then also I start to think about okay, what kind of partner do I want? And once I literally wrote down the kind of partner I want, and I had never done this before, I literally attracted him and met the exact person that I wrote down. So I'm telling you, once you write things down, you manifest them and it, it's crazy. So I want you to answer these questions, yeah? Okay, first of all, what reality do I want to create? First question. Second question, who do I look up to? 
like look up to people that you like their lifestyle you like you don't have to be like i want their life i want to be them no you get inspiration from their lifestyle you know how we get inspiration if we're decorating our home from pinterest and all these things well the same way you look at a person you think oh okay i for example i even like their haircut or i like this that and it can be different people but who do you look up to then you write down what is a behavior that you need to change about yourself in order for you to attract that reality that you want, what is the behavior that you need to change? Example, I, I was uh, struggling with an eating disorder. I had bulimia. And in my reality, the highest version of me, she didn't have that. She didn't have that eating disorder. So I needed to work on fixing that. And I needed to work on fixing my eating disorder because uh, I, that was not going to be my reality. I was not going to suffer from it. And then what's a new habit that you would like to create? And the last but the most important thing ever, what is one thing that I can focus on right now? See, the human brain is incredible, yeah? We do not like too much choice. I'm reading this book right now. It's called uh, The Art of Thinking Clearly. And basically it talks about how when we are given too much choice, the brain paralyzes and just doesn't make a decision at all. And we really get stressed off of it. So you decide for yourself, okay, all of these things yeah, that I listed that I want for, for this new reality, what is some one thing that I can focus on right now? And I promise you, once you focus on that one thing, all the rest will follow. Follow the leader, leader, leader. For example, I joined the gym recently. And when I joined the gym, it's like a personal training program. Ever since I joined the gym, like all the other issues, like uh, not socializing, like not feeling confident anymore, like uh, really like having kind of like an isolated uh, depression, they went. They went because I decided to focus on that one thing. And then all the rest of it follows. So you decide, okay, what do I start with? Do I start with my physical appearance? Do I start with healing my mental health? Do I start um, with uh, not allowing toxic people in my life anymore? And then I swear, or do I start like going out a little more? Everything will fall into place. Another thing is the illusions of life. See, we as humans, we like to create meaning out of something. We always like to look for patterns and have meaning in them. For example, if we look uh, at the clouds, right? We will see a certain shape in the cloud. We'll be like, oh my God, this is sign. This is whatever, right? No, sometimes things are just things and they're not like uh, a pattern or whatever. And the same way that you guys say like, oh, I'm just unlucky. I have like, I constantly attract un uh, like uh, unluckiness. No, you don't. <laughs> you have uh you have good days and bad days and that's that's just it you're not unlucky stop telling yourself that you're unlucky see the same way um i grew up uh in a uh, i'm a muslim right so we believe in evil eye now the issue with this is constantly whenever something would happen like i would get a rash on my face or i would fall down the stairs i like constantly i would think like oh my god then this is evil eye this is evil eye i'm getting evil eye but now I like completely changed my thinking and I was like, no, I do not get evil eye. I like uh, only what I allow will happen. This is my reality and I allow what comes in and what goes out. Walk away from things and people that are not good for you. You have to start thinking, does this person add to the reality that I want to create for myself? Do they fit into that reality? Hmm. Okay, so this person is always putting me down. This person is not giving me any love. This person is toxic. Mm, no, okay. Cut, cut, cut. I want them out because I'm trying to create my, my, my reality here. These people cannot come with me. Sometimes you get even tested about how bad you want it by um, having these people in your life. And really, when you cut them off, God gives you something so much better. But that's because you showed him, I trust you. I don't care like how much I want this person in my life or how much this person makes me feel comfortable or how much this thing makes me com feel comfortable. I'm gonna cut it off so I, so I can show you I trust you and you will give me something better. Some people are not meant to be with the highest version of you. Some people are not meant to go to your highest reality with you. Then you think always, does this action support the reality that I'm trying to create? For example, right, if you say, okay, I want to make my own money and I want to have a partner that makes their own money and uh, I want us to be a stable couple, a really good couple, right? 
then you keep dating people that have no work ethic. You keep dating people that don't want to work and literally uh, basically don't want to do anything but live off of other people. You have to think to yourself, if I continue doing this, then this action will not support the reality that I want because you're contradicting yourself. You cannot say, this is what I want and do the complete opposite thing and expect this to happen. Or you're trying to create a reality where you want people to respect you, where you want uh, to inspire people, whatever, but you keep people pleasing to a point where nobody respects you or you keep like making, letting people make a joke out of you, not standing up for yourself. Where are we going? What reality is that? Because we're going backwards, honey. Become your own biggest investment. See, I, I feel like when, when people say this, they look, oh my God, you're so selfish. Oh. No, honey, no. Because when we invest in you guys, when we give you guys everything and we con constantly pour into other people, then that's fine, yeah? And they completely drain us. We're left with no energy for ourselves. That's all okay. But don't you dare, don't you dare do that for yourself because that's a really, you're a bad person. Oh, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in yourself. Whether it's your physical looks, like your skin, your hair, your body, uh, the foods you put in your body, then your mental, therapy. Um, if you cannot afford therapy, journal, journal, shadow work questions, write them down. It's like therapy. And what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to start a podcast. I'm going to start a podcast where I invite, uh, every time I go to therapy, I just have my therapy sessions on the podcast. So you guys can follow it to me and you guys can get free therapy because I know therapy is expensive. I was uh, uh, like at a time on a point where I couldn't afford therapy. I totally understand it. But now that I can, I'm going to share that with you guys, even though I have to put my personal business online. Uh, that's OK. But realize that the more you invest in yourself, the more you level you up and the, the closer you get to that reality and the more other people will respect you. I like, how can you not respect a person that thinks they're worthy of their own investments? <laughs> how can you not respect that? Imagine you see like someone with a really nice car, right? And they always clean it. It's always clean from the inside, from the outside. It's really well taken care of. Then people would say like, oh my God, that person, that guy or that girl really loves their car. Well, do that for yourself too. Because the same way you're gonna invest in yourself, people can tell that you are a person that loves themselves. Okay, another thing, and this is the most important, one of the most important, is make your words match your actions. I do not want to hear, oh no, Liz, I tried, but I couldn't do it. What did you try? What did you try? Because why are we having this conversation right now? Hmm? Why did you stop? So you tried once and then you stopped. And that's trying. My sister, she told me recently, she's like, Liz, the reason that you are so successful is because when you want something and you say, I'm going to do it, you actually do it. And she's like, everything you preach on your YouTube and everything, you actually do that. Like, you're really authentic to your words. I am. When I say that I am going to do something, I will do it. I do not care. That's what divides the successful from the unsuccessful people. A lot of my uh, successful friends that I know, we all have the same mindset. We want to do something that is good, of course. We actually do it. We do not care whether we will fail at it or succeed. We don't know the outcome. We only know that we can take the action to go towards, okay? So you have to have this mindset. See, most unsuccessful people, they have this mindset like, oh no, that's too much risk. Oh, oh no, I won't be able to do it. Oh no, they could do it, but I couldn't do it, whatever. Um, yeah, that's how you never try anything. And where do we end up then? I think the most beautiful thing in life is trying new things, then failing, and then trying something else. Like at least you're living. If you're not trying anything and you're just following a constant thing and not doing anything outside of the box, like how boring is that? Okay, this is a good one. This is have the wizard mindset. Okay, what is the wizard mindset? The wizard mindset is basically believing that you're a wizard. Like, like thinking you're a magician. So for example, if you say like, uh, I want this, and you have it. I genuinely believe that anything I want will happen. As long as I set my mind to it, it will happen. There is no other way. I'm just a wizard. I am a wizard. I want you guys to be wizards. I want you guys to think of yourself like, I'm a wizard. Well, why should it not happen? I'm a wizard. Anything I ask for, I will receive. If I ask God for something, I receive it. I, you know, even I am so delusional. I literally think, okay, like tonight I'm going to ask God. Like, uh, first be thankful for everything that I have. I'm very grateful, by the way. I'm a very grateful person. And that's also why I think that I keep attracting blessings because I am grateful. And so 
basically then i thank god for everything i have and then i say god please give me this blah blah two days max two days max i have it without a doubt be willing to be cringy okay listen i did something <clears throat> that goes against my things i basically went uh like a week ago uh i was searching something and all of a sudden i saw like a link of uh, reddit and it was about me so i click on it of course reddit a lovely place so many positive people um and on the thing they were basically saying that i am a narcissist i encourage cheating and basically gold digging to the core and uh then this uh also compared me to like people that are you know I don't know. then i was reading all the comments and everybody's like yeah she's so cringy she's so like uh embarrassing she's so whatever blah blah and then i was like oh no that must have hurt in my lungs honey i might be embarrassing but i'm paying my mama's bills okay yeah i am literally taking care of the people that i love and i am able to do that because i am embarrassing to you and what are you doing just on reddit yeah. I don't like her to be willing to be cringy yeah in life when when we make certain changes when we start changing how uh we allow people to treat us when we start changing our outer appearance when we start like doing anything really to level our life up people will start telling you that you're cringy or you're embarrassing or you're doing too much like calm down and it's like it's they're just speaking out of jealousy like honestly you know because they don't believe they can do it themselves so you have to be willing to take that little hit because at the end, it's going to pay off. The thing is sometimes you need to be alone to be able to create your uh, dream reality, to be able to level up. Why do I say this? See, when you are an empathic person or you're a highly sensitive person like I am, um, w w people like me, we tend to, when we, we are around people, our natural default is to help them. Even though they didn't ask, they didn't mean to, we constantly want to help them and we pour so much into them. And we do this even without realizing, yeah? But what happens then is we don't have energy left for ourselves anymore. So we are helping these people create their reality. We are helping these people accomplish their dreams, but we are, we are being drained. So for me, I became so depressed whilst I was doing that with my partner. I've been doing that for like the last eight months with my partner. Felix. No, for like the last eight months with my partner without even realizing it that I was literally like, okay, I need to take a step back. Like I literally need to be on my own right now and I need to focus on Liz and what does Liz want and I swear like the moment I started being on my own like my creative ideas came back my passion for my job came back even if you see my other videos like I completely lost passion for this and I love talking to you guys I used to see you guys as like my family and then it became like I literally came to a point where I was like I don't want I cannot even get myself to film that just shows how much of my energy was being drained and that's why I'm saying sometimes you need to be alone in order for you to create that reality in order for you to get to that next level another thing is start unlearning what they taught you listen start unlearning what your parents taught you start unlearning what your teachers taught you start unlearning what your culture has taught you what they were telling you was what was a reality for them in their life that's what what they believe for themselves that doesn't have to be your reality honey it doesn't have to be your reality. you have the chance to do things differently now you have the chance to actually take your power and say like okay Maybe that was your reality and that was the reality I was born into, but that's not how I'm going to leave this earth. I'm going to leave this earth having lived my reality and a reality I created for myself. And you cannot blame them for um, teaching you those things because that's the only thing they knew. But you should start educating yourself on your own stuff. Create your own opinions about life. Start to uh, look out for yourself what the best ways are to approach your life and how you want to live it so you can live it for, like with yourself authentically so you don't have to like when when you're old like regret your life because you feel like you live for someone else no honey live for yourself i promise you i promise you if someone had told me this you're gonna you're gonna be old yeah 80 years old look back at your life and say i live for someone else i would have told them kill me right now right now because that will not be my reality don't let other people influence your opinion see opinions change we we constantly we grow and we learn that's normal yeah but what i mean by this is we are very influenced by other people so this is normal because our primates uh we we literally follow the crowd because 
we uh, we needed to stick together in order to survive, right? But now what happens is, for example, you watch a video, right? You have an opinion about this video. Then you start and you go to the comments and you see totally different opinion from the one you had. And then you, your, your opinion starts to get influenced by them. You can't allow that to happen because that just means that you're easily manipulated. What you can do is look at other people's opinions, look at what they think that you should do or whatever, look at them and say like, okay, that's your opinion. You can have an opinion, but I rather stick to my own and I try on my own. And if I fail at it, whatever, yeah, then I learned from it. But it's my opinion and it's what I'm going to do. Ask to be guided, ask for signs, ask for help from God. I promise you, I promise you this works. This literally works. I've said this in one of my videos about manifesting that people should ask for signs. And literally I have, my DMs were flooded with people that did. And they got so many signs. They, they asked for, to see like this, that, and they, they saw all these things. It's incredible. You guys need to start speaking to God or to a higher source that you believe in. Like when you guys like need something or something, let's talk to them like a friend and say like, Hey, I need this. Like, thank you so much for providing me with everything, but I need you to help me with this. Please. I need you because like they will like whoever you believe in, they will help you. I promise you every friend that I've told to do this, everyone, they were shocked. Like Liz, they were like, this advice is golden. Look, what I would suggest you ask is, God, please give me whatever is meant for my highest good. God, please remove people that don't have the best intentions with me from my life. God, please guide me towards my path and show me signs of what I need to do. If you believe in the universe, you can ask the universe, whatever you believe in. It doesn't have to be God, whatever. But I promise you, I promise you, this works. Last but not least is be disciplined, okay? You need to have consistency over perfection. We don't need perfection. Nothing is perfect in life, yeah? And if we're gonna strive for perfection, we're not gonna get anywhere. You're not gonna do anything because the, the first business you create will not be perfect. The first person you ever date will probably also not be perfect. The first gym session will probably not be perfect, but at least we have the consistency to keep going because we're not striving for perfection. We are striving for consistency to eventually get to our goal. Do not look at people and think like, oh my God, they're at this age. They're so much further than me. I should have been there. No, honey, it's you versus you. You do not look at these other people. The only way you look at other people is if you want inspiration from them and you're like, okay, fine. Like if they can do it, I can do it too. But we don't look and compare and, and be like, oh, age, this and that. You never know what, what like God has for you. You don't know what it, what is in store for you, you know? So m maybe you're thinking and thinking like, oh, I, my life should be like completely like this, but you were meant to have a much bigger life. So you're limiting yourself. So only look at like little inspirations and like focus on you. It's you. Your dream person is you. So I know you guys can do it. Because literally, like I told you, I'm not going to the top alone, honey. I don't want to be there and literally think like, oh my God, I have no friends. No, 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 no. I need my little wizards with me at the top and we're going to do this together. We're going to heal together. We're going to level up together. We're going to recognize our work together. And we're just going to the next, next level. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And yeah, I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.